Bill, thank you so much for doing this. We always appreciate when folks send us blinds. Oh, he wrote some notes. Hold on. He said, before you look at the answer key, one of these samples is not a whiskey at all. Which is it? I bet it's the one that you picked. Our next Patreon pour is from Bill. Bill, thank you so much. We are excited for this one. Bill actually sent us three different blinds, one for Jamie, one for me, and one for us to compete against each other. These things are so cute. All the little bottles have Beyond the Row logo on them. I know, Bill always does a great job. Yeah, thank you so much, Bill, and uh, obviously your beautiful wife for all the helping getting these to us. <laughs> that was not kissing up at all. It's just funny. And you're beautiful. Like, you're turning red, too. I feel like you're flirting with her. <laughs> Did you just oh. flirt with somebody's wife? Bill, oh. watch. Watch out for this guy. Daniel Weller coming in at 94 proof. This is like a fluffy marshmallow cool whip kind of fluff. Or fluff. Fluff. Oh, my gosh. It is a strawberries and fluff. Little bit of peanut butter, peanut butter sandwich. This smells really, really good. On maybe like a pound cake. Now I get, I get your strawberries. I get your marshmallow. I get a little bit of very, very faint nutmeg. Just a little bit. A little bit of char, but very mild. Not what I was expecting. It's good. It's amazing. It's fantastic. I get this like chunky almond chocolate chip cookies, but white chocolate with almonds in them. It has like that cookie doughish kind of thing. Okay, this is gonna. I don't. I don't know if you've ever had this, Jamie, but this reminds me. There's a dish, and it's like a, a Middle Eastern or I think it's a Middle Eastern dish. It's a dessert called uh, balaklava mm -mm. or balaklava. It's like a it's like a pastry thing, and I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. Everybody, I apologize. I totally screwed it up. There's a bala there's a, a baklava, which is like a headgear, like a thing you put on your head, and then there's balaklava <laughs> or whatever. I know I'm screwing it up. I apologize, but it's basically like it's a pastry, and I think it has a lot of brown sugar, cinnamon, a little bit of fig. Fig, yes. Um, it's got um, a little bit of fruity. Think of, think of like a dense crescent roll with like. A ton of like sugar, some nuts, some okay. figs. Fruit cake. There's a richness that you get as soon as you drink it. Mm -hmm. Before the flavor even kicks in much, you start to just get this sugary sweet syrup. Mm -hmm. And then you start getting all the flavors we've it's, talked about. There is spice on there. It's yeah, not yeah. overly sweet at all by any means. I mean, on the nose, you almost kind of think of a little bit of a Buffalo Trace vibe. But on the palate, it's nothing like that. And that's why I think it threw us at first is because mm. it was just not that way at all at first. Old Fitzgerald 10-year coming in at 100 proof. Is that like an orange Julius with a little bit of brown sugars and some spice? I'm getting some proof on there. I'm getting like a nice old dusty barrel. And I'm getting the barrel, yes. I'm getting that, that really strong barrel quality. I get your orange Julius. Yeah, do you get a little bit of white grape, too, if you uh, kind of pull it away a little bit? of White grape juice. Okay, I could see it. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought that at first, but, I yeah. mean, you're, the power of suggestions, I'll buy into it. Well, pulling it away helps kind of relieve the proof off of my nose, and it helps tend to, like, just bring up the lighter notes, so. This is familiar. Is this like a Knob Creek kind of feel? Oh, yeah, that very much tastes like a, a Knob Creek. So it has a lot of the oak barrel. It has a dust of like sweetness on it, but I can't really place the notes of the sweetness. Is that like, um, it kind of has that juiciness at the front, um, like pear or um, apple. I could or see it. I could, kind of... yeah, I could see a pear. To me, it goes into like a payday candy bar. It's more of that nut and nougat and that yes. like the, the white sugar thing that goes on the inside of a payday. The, That's what it reminds me of. The finish just like warmed and ended really nicely. It's thick, syrupy, but it's still that, it's still super oaky. Blood Oath number nine coming in at 98.6 proof. Oh, fudge. Oh no, I'm excited. Oh my God, that smells so good. Yeah, it does. Jamie, that is like that old, is old, funky Trace? barrel. Is this, 
Does no. this have, you don't get some berry off of it? What is wrong with your nose? You're not getting any like berries, any fruit. I'm a little congested, but no, I'm not. This is a berry with like some vanilla cream, maybe a little bit of licorice, like black licorice. I get no berry on it, Jamie. Yeah. No berry. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that one's hot. There's a little bit of a burn. There's coatiness. What is Vanilla that? Vanilla spice. That tastes like Heaven Hill to me. Really? Yeah. If I were to guess, I'd guess. Maybe that's why, because Heaven Hill gives me strawberries sometimes, but they're super um, fresh strawberries. Hmm. And that's why it's not like a sweet strawberry. It's a fresh strawberry. It reminds me of Heaven Hill. I, I could be wrong. Okay. Delete that part, Jamie. Future Jamie, delete that part. Wow, that's spicy. There's a little bit of a kick, a little bit of a funk. There's a nice kind of almond extract quality to it. But then there's the cinnamon spice that's there's kind of cinnamon mixed spice with to it, it that I don't love. Because before, when you first came down, I was drinking the Rye 3 Toasted. So I went from the Toasted to the 13th Double Oak. Why are you so dumb like that sometimes? I didn't know we were doing a Bill Blind tonight. You did know we were doing a blind. I didn't know we were doing Bill's Blind. Well, does it matter? It's okay. Does I'm it... still going to rock this thing. Four square indelible coming in at 96 proof. It's a rum. Oh. Oh, that is stank. This is musty, <laughs> guy. Stank, multi, musty. multi, musty. I've been hanging out way too long in my barrel. This one just got back from the gym. <laughs> it did some supersets. Well, I mean, it it's like baking spice musty, though. There's baking yeah, spice okay. sprinkled in there. They're about to cook that musty dough. That's a that's a funky one. As much as we were joking about the 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 funky note, it's actually it's a funky note, but it's a funky note that you only get from a really old quality whiskey. I'm actually getting a nice Twinkie, like in the package. Like from Teletubbies, like Twinkie Winky. No, like Twinkies you eat. Oh. You never just like got a box it... of Twinkies and ate a bunch of them. I think it smells more like Poe. <laughs> Jamie, it actually does kind of smell like a Twinkie, Jamie. Mm -mm. Oh, wow. On the palate, it's a little different. Oh, that is fantastic. It's, it's wow. like purple grape. Oh, no, 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 Jamie, that's Willet. That tastes like a Willet purple. Uh, I mean, if I were to, I've never had a true Willet purple top. If... That's I were good. to describe to you what I think one's going to taste like, it would taste like this. This is like grape nerds. Even all the oh. other color nerd. It's got like berry nerds oh. on it. Mm -mm. It's got this like thick sweetness about it. There's caramel sauce mm -hmm. in there that just like really coats the nerd. <laughs> See, I don't think I'm not getting grape nerds. I'm getting a very delicate wine grape. It's not like a can overly candy thing. It's a very delicate, mature, no, I get candy. delicious grape. It's delicious, but absolutely I get candy. fantastic mouthfeel. Wow. I've never had something like this. I've mm. had grapey kind of, you know, some light whiskey uh, Canadian stuff can sometimes come across grapey. I've like I said, I, I'm not sure what it is, but that is spectacularly beautiful on the palate. I like it. I love it. That's yeah. fantastic. E.H. Taylor's single barrel store pick coming in at 100 proof. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's pretty. I like this one. That's like a basket of sweet berries. Oh, you had me at berries. <laughs> <laughs> On those berries, it's like creamy vanilla, like milkshakey kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Mm, this this kind of smells like Buffalo Trace. This kind of smells like Buffalo Trace. I can't get this look off my face. Wow. <laughs> I can't get this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this, while she's figuring out her face, this is absolutely <laughs> fantastic. Very proofy, a really rich berry quality to it. Damn, this is honestly fantastic. Caramel, buttercream with those berries you were talking about. Wow, it's a little bit of baking spice mixed in there. That really kind of brings like a really nice counterbalance to the fruity notes and the sugar, like the, the, the vanilla creams and the sweetness notes, sweeter notes. That's a fantastic one. Bill, this was a great, great lineup. Mm. Very excited to see how this pans out. That could be an E.H. Taylor single barrel. 
fifth place tonight for me was this guy. Small amount of like cherry syrup, almonds, spice, red hot. It was my fifth place. I didn't really like it at all. It was my fifth place. I liked it. But compared to some of these other ones, it was not near as delicious. Fourth place tonight was this fruit cake, fluff, fluffy almond fudge. syrup, vanilla spice, a little bit of honey and lemon at the end. This was my third place. I loved this one. It was good. I loved it. It, it has so the texture good. of biting. Oh, and I'm getting banana bread on it. So I wrote down 12 year, 100 proof on that one. Third place tonight was this guy. I said Knob Creek at first. You yep. said Jim Beam, which I agree with. This is fluffy. Um, there's like a nice coatiness of syrup. I still get some peanut and oak on there, um, but I, I like it. Yeah, I think this is Jim Beam all the way. Uh, whether it's Knob Creek Jim Beam or regular Jim Beam, I said 15 year, 103 proof. Mm, it's good. It's good, but it was my fourth place. I think the other one was much better. Second place was this delicate grape, oh as David would say. Caramel oak, really coaty. This one was amazing, and I bet it's your first place. It is my first place. I knew it. It is awesome. First place, still beat it out, but I think it's Buffalo Trace or a birthday bourbon, which is mostly likely going to be Buffalo Trace. Yep. This is like, it has that berryness. It has like this really nice um, Sunday, like caramels, That's dessert really notes with like that freshness of berries. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm guessing E.A. Shaler single barrel at 100 proof. They're not age dated, but I'm, I wrote down 11 years just in case it's not Buffalo, Buffalo Trace. This one I thought was 14 year, 98 proof. The answer key, David. The answer key for yes, the people. Yes, Bill, I'm so excited. Bill, thank you so much for doing this. We always appreciate when folks send us blinds. Oh, he wrote some notes. Hold on. He said, before you look at the answer key, one of these samples is not a whiskey at all. Which is it? Okay, here's the deal. <laughs> David, are we all going to find out you don't really like whiskey? <laughs> I love something else better. Whiskey Row is now going to become a uh, Cognac Row or whatever this is. Bill, I'm guessing it's this one or this one. That's fun. There we go. Thank you, Bill. You ready, Jamie? What is your fifth position? The middle one? Yep. All right. And I'm gonna, yours. I'm gonna, yeah, but I'm going to try not to look at him. Oh, he taped it up. Jeez. Glad I had my pocket knife. My trusty Put pocket knife. Shirts on the camera. I got my pocket knife out. Let's cut the uh, tape. There we go. Bill made it double, triple secure. No, that's good. Well, I know. We like it to be... For you. Okay. Okay. C <laughs> is Blood Oath 9. It's so, my first one, the fruitcake one. Position A? Yep. Okay. That was my third place one, and that is Daniel Weller. Wow. <gasps> that's a Buffalo Trace Daniel Weller coming okay. in at 94 proof. Okay. Your third place, my fourth place is... Old Fitzgerald 10 year, which is Heaven Hill, coming in at 100 proof. You said Heaven Hill, didn't you? Uh, I said that for C, which was the oh, Blood O, so I was off. Bad. But uh, still, 100 proof. I wrote down 103 proof. I was close. Position D is four square indelible. What? 96 is that? proof. It, that is not a whiskey. It's technically a <laughs> rum. You said you don't like. Oh, you like rum. I love rum. You do like rum. Maybe that's why I put it in second place. Because, like, it just... I totally get it now. That's the rum, the old rum barrel. Yep, 100%. I totally get it now, too. I wow. love this one. That was good. My that first did place. good. It really did. That's a tremendous one. All right, come one. on, David. What's this guy? That one is E.H. Taylor Single Barrel. That's what I thought it was. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I Hunter said proof. E I said Buffalo Trace first before you. You did, but I said E.A. Shaler Single Barrel. I know. 100 proof. Benny's store pick. <laughs> you have to hand in your whiskey card. No, Four Square Indelible. I love uh, Four Square Rums. This is... I can't believe you I haven't that. had the Indelible. I love it. It's Rums are really, really good. I wrote Will down... you sly hey, guy, hey. you. It's 96... With that beautiful wife of yours. <laughs> 96 proof. I wrote down 98 proof, 100 proof, 100 proof. 98.6, 100 proof, 100 proof, 103 proof, huh? uh, 94 proof, and 100 proof. So I was a little off on the Daniel Weller. Woo! Right. Bill, that was quite the lineup. I tell you, I have not had the Daniel Weller, and that was really, really nice. I love that one. The first three I really, really liked. Yeah. 
If you guys like what we're doing here on Beyond the Road, please subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button if you love the tasting delicious new whiskeys and rums. Check out Dog Row. We have a new puppy. His name is Fitz. Oh my God, he's a headache, but he's adorable. So cute. Yes. If you guys, oh, thank you all for watching. <laughs> we'll see you next time.